Hi, my name is Leah Lachlan. I'm a national sales director in the beauty industry. I've been building my business for several years now and want to share my story. I actually used to pride myself in not having any makeup in my makeup drawer and just washing my face with water. I mean, we met on a canoe trip. You know, I fell in love with her on that canoe trip and there was definitely no uh, makeup or skincare or showers. I was a tomboy and an athlete and just a real low maintenance kind of girl and played volleyball in college. I used to stay away from it thinking that it covered you um, or was some kind of mask for women. But as I learned more about it, we really use our products as a vehicle to enhance a woman's beauty and, and ultimately to enhance her confidence. You really watch a woman as she tries the skincare and as she explores makeup. You, you watch her sit a little bit taller and put her shoulders back and smile more uh, because she feels like she's her best version of herself. This came into my life many years ago through a good friend of mine who had started her own business. I got a postcard in the mail from her that invited me to her first launch party. And I remember looking at it and reading it and thinking, oh, like, oh, Tina, I felt like I needed to call her and make sure everything was okay in her life. Things like this were, were for people who had maybe nothing better to do with their time and I did not have a very positive image of what a business like this was all about. I ended up going to this launch party because I loved her and wanted to support her. And, and so I go, and I was kind of the girl, well, first of all, I showed up late, and then I was the girl who sat with my arms crossed in the corner asking all the heckler questions to find out what was wrong with the company and to find out what was wrong with the products and to find out you know, the real story, because I didn't feel like the real story was being presented. But as I asked those questions, what I found was they had a really high quality product at a really reasonable price. And uh, the company had really great people in it. And they were women who were wanting to provide for their families and wanting a way to build confidence and waiting, wanting a way to connect with other people. So as I dug and I asked and I looked for the things I thought I would find, what I found was something much different. Um, and it was refreshing. And it, it captivated me just enough for long enough that I was willing to dig a little bit more and find out a little bit more. For the first time in my life, I learned to take care of my skin and um, learned to apply makeup. And that, that was fun. I, I needed to start looking more professional at my job anyways, and so I became a very good customer. And then I watched my friend have a lot of fun and make extra money uh, working her business part-time. And that was intriguing to me because at the time I was waitressing at a little Italian restaurant uh, where I grew up and I would teach all day. My husband would pick me up from school and then he would take me to the restaurant and I'd wait tables often until late into the evening. He'd pick me up and bring me back home and I would just do that grind all week. We had that one car and that was kind of our uh, life at that point in time. I was intrigued. It was fascinating. It was captivating and I was curious but still not fully trusting that um, you could be as successful as I was told especially for someone just this normal girl from Ohio I didn't think somebody normal like me could make this a success and so that's what I wanted to prove couldn't happen and so I set out to do that so when I tell him I'm gonna start my business he was kind of like oh that sounds interesting, yeah. you know, that sounds good, we'll see. You know, from my perspective, I didn't view it as uh, credible maybe initially because I just come from a very traditional background. You know, my dad was, you know, he has worked a professional career. My mom stayed at home. I just, I did all the things that they say to do and trusted the process and, um, and thankfully, thankfully I didn't reach, I didn't ever reach that goal. Um, because what I found was uh, a legitimate business opportunity, a work from home business opportunity, selling an essential, sustainable, consumable product. And, and I found a beautiful journey. Uh -huh.
she was working two other jobs. She was a school teacher and she was working as a waitress. And so one of the concerns that you know, I had initially was like, well, where, where is she going to find time to fit this in? We were busy people, and I, I don't think the business opportunity didn't change that. It just shifted our priorities. You can, you can spend time or you can invest time. And when I started and into this day, we chose to invest time in things we saw value and invest time in things that we're going to build our future and create more choices. I get updates like, you've been on your phone four and a half hours today. <laughs> I'm like, I have? You know, I've been on my phone four and a half hours? When did that happen? So it's amazing how much time that, uh, that we have. I mean, life is not short. You know, we just make it so by the poor choices we make sometimes, I think. I was teaching full time and there became this moment when I really had to choose. And, and I didn't want to choose because I was passionate about teaching and education and the children and wanted to make a difference there and thought I was called to make a difference in that space. Yet it came to a point where I couldn't chase two rabbits anymore. It was hard to close the chapter to my teaching career, but it really opened a new chapter of continuing to teach just teaching a new topic. Who, who impacts the children the most? It's, it's the mom, it's the influencer. And I got to speak into the influencer of those children and we believe that confident women raise confident children. And so I got to mentor, coach, pour into, train, teach, do life with these women and then they take that home to their children. And, and you can't give your kids what you don't have, right? And so um, taking a woman, making her a more confident, higher, better version of herself, it's gonna impact her family, her marriage, her children, her parenting, her dreams, her goals, her future. Um, and so I, I still get to teach. I just teach a different topic to a different group of people. We are not about competition. We are about collaborating and doing life together and walking through life, all the ups and downs and highs and lows and the good days and the bad days. We're, we're for each other. We believe that we are better together. You're, you're in business for yourself but you're not by yourself. Uh, so you have complete autonomy and, and flexibility to build your business at the level and pace that you want to, yet the support system that surrounds you with tools and resources and training and advice and leadership and experience. You start this business and you're surrounded by these positive, inspiring, uplifting, big thinking uh, leaders who want to invest in you and pour into your life. The community aspect and culture of this business opportunity has been a gift I never expected. For the people in your organization, I mean, you spend every, you know, time every day talking about them, praying for them. You love them and care for them. And you know, they don't often see that. And so I know that you do that when nobody else is awake, when you get up early and you have that time. So you're just a very loving, committed, and caring person for the relationships that are in your life. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's something that I want to be better at as I watch you do that. Mm -hmm. And I could keep going for a while, but... Um, <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. And you're super fun, and I love hanging out with you. <laughs> Let's do this video every day. <laughs>